Good day, everyone. Master Rabbit here. We're back for the uh, final session. Is part seven of Resident Evil Seven by Hazardo. So we are here. We are ready to go. We picked up everything we needed to pick up. As you can see, we've got everything back and still in our inventory. We should be more than enough to get us going. We've also got a steroids, and we, we've got the Magnum, but we're going we're to keep the Magnum in the box for now. So we've finished saving, and we're going to get out of here. So, did I go the right way? Yes, I did. Okay, so uh, going this way. Um, now, as you can see, got to make it down to uh, this way, across down into this bottom section. It's going to be a, a lift taking us down into the mine. We're going to have to kill these guys, but my opinion, let's see if I can just drop one. What I what I would recommend I do is I get these guys to come run around, chase me for a bit. There's three, four, drop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, killed all four with one bomb. Beautiful. You reckon I get an achievement for that? No. But hey, that's what happens when you're a bit slow. Anyway. We'll pick up some stuff along the way. Um, what have I got? Handgun. I didn't even take my knife. I don't think I did take the knife. No, I didn't. So anything that I need to pick up, I'm going to have to use uh, handgun to blow up. But hopefully it should come in handy because I've got some machine gun bullets out of that one. And another one over here. And that gives a small machine gun ammo. We'll probably end up using the machine gun for now. Once we get downstairs. Um, oh, we really have nothing to worry about. Pushing the button. Pulls up the lift. The lift is already here by the way. And push this button. This button takes us down. So we got... We have 19 bullets from here. We have 400 or so bullets on the machine gun. Which is more than enough. Handgun. Not a problem. So let's get the show on the road. I think we'll take we'll take this we'll take the shuddy for now. Let's see what we can do with the shuddy. I don't know. Two mines at the moment. All right, so we're in the salt mines. Something will drop, I think, in a minute. Took this down pretty good. From a distance, there's a bit of kickback, so it wasn't too complicated. So straight through. Straight through. What I would recommend we do is this is what I've always wanted. Uh, this is what I've always thought of. This is a uh, landmine here, and there's a landmine over there. Okay, and then there's another landmine just here. So what I recommend we do is this is what I've always wanted to do, but I always stuff it up. And there's another landmine here. So there's monsters coming. He's going to come, so, like, why not use these landmines? So, he's the first one. Right. Now, that should kill him. If he doesn't die, he'll get back up. He'll come back together with this bloke. And then this guy here will hopefully trigger both of these. Right. At least one of them will be dead. If they're not dead, both of them will be dead. And then the game is over for these guys. That's it. Done. So, that's the best thing to do. Try not to waste any bullets. If you're low on them, by the way, that's all I can say. And that way you can use your bullets to pick up whatever's in the crates. Which I don't know what what is in here. More health. And that's it. So he's take they've taken out all that for us. And I think there's some something over here. We'll take that. Ah, more handgun bullets. Helps us replenish our stock. That's it. So just remember to take that easy note of what to do now I'll take the shotgun back out again just to be on the safe side jump down <coughs> alright and there's something over here in this box in this little hole magnum ammo excellent that'll come in handy for the final battle oh if we need to use it in the final battle again 
There's um, also some bombs over here. Take them. More bombs the merrier, that is all I say. Always very handy. Get out of the way quickly. I'll reload. Still gets me. Wow. Well, he got the better of me, didn't he? Okay. I knew it was coming, but it just got me in the corner. Doesn't matter. That's both of them out of the way. And now we can make our way around and down into this area here. This area here is pretty sneaky. You gotta do it quickly. And if you can do it quickly, what you gotta do is come up this way. There's another one of those monsters. If you push it right. It takes him out. And down into the into the mines further. But on insane on madhouse it's not the same they have there's more of them and they're smarter and they come around the side like this way so on easy you just saw it very easily done so these where did he come from oh they're causing a bit of trouble aren't they these little guys all right anyway we have a fair amount of stuff to worry we don't have to worry about our stock at the moment there will be a save game location not too far away. There's nothing down here. They just make our way through this little area here. And across. I believe there's something over here. Uh, right? No, no, I'm not. It's straight away. Straight ahead. Uh, here, we have to, do have to get rid of this bomb. Get rid of that. There's a Mr. Bobblehead up the top there. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, where is he? He's hanging around there. Kill Mr. Bobblehead. Shoot this crate. Machine gun bullets. I might I might start using that to the truth, but it just takes a little bit more time to kill these molded. Wait. Anyway. Up we go. I believe one of these is uh, booby trapped. That was that one. And going through here is the. Uh, I think this is the beginning of. Really, a lot of a lot of information. This area here is Lucas's little uh, hideout, as we heard from you know that uh, information that we heard on the radio, uh, that radio frequency that Bravo and Bravo One and were talking to, uh, talking to each other about. This is the emails that um, Lucas has been sending. Um, he's been given some sort of treatment that lets him block the. Um, information, oh no, block the bad stuff that Evelyn's doing to people. Uh, he's also just giving them a rundown of what's going on. Um, and see that he's talking about her here, saying that she's not normal. Something wrong with her. But he's giving information about about her and everything back to this third party, which I believe it's not Umbrella and who would be. But anyway, that's that's Lucas explaining information to these people. And we are now in this lab. We're finally here. The lab has a lot of information in here, and I'm not going to read it all. But I will just pick up and show you where everything is. That's the first one, the report. This this is where it gets really cool, where you've got to pretty much re read everything about this. It tells you how the uh, virus works, how it propagates, how it grows in people's bodies... And what happens after a series of steps, um, like one to four, four stages um, of the virus. They call it the molded mold. So, it just, uh, I'm not going to read it. You guys can read it if you want. You can just quickly pause it and have a look yourselves. Um, there's more information here. This is five minutes after vomiting. This is eat toxin test. Uh, Ten minutes. And 12 minutes. So basically, if you read what I read before, that basically gives you information of what the stages are and how many stages there are and what happens to people after they're infected. This is where we need to make the e-necrotoxin that we use to use use on e Evelyn. This is more information. This is very good, this part here. So I'll just quickly skim through it. 
seven pages. There's some information that's actually covered. Kind of fill in the gaps if you really needed to. And um, tells you the stages of what happens and how that people get infected. And A through to D. And the E series is what they believe is the perfected bio weapon. Um, they've made her into a 10 year old so they can she can easily adapt and blend in with the environment with people you know with the, with the location that they're trying to use her uh, and the, yeah all right so that's the last page right just block it uh, sorry uh, pause and read if you need if you needed to read I'm not gonna read all that crap I already have this is the last one here. So this is the information on how she how she uses those uh, molded organisms and the fungal stuff that creates how she's using the mother and father. Okay, done. All right, so that's everything that I've that's in this room, apart from what's uh, over here. So, yep, I've got enough. So basically what we'll do is we'll make this... We'll make this serum. Target has been acquired. It opens up. There is the sample A. Basically it says here... The E necrotoxin destroys the cells of any subject based in the E series bio weapon model. Okay, so here what we need to do is we need to put her tissue samples in here. Which we got given by here. And then what happens is it sucks up this, not sure how, whatever it does. And then what it does, it combines it together and makes a e no necrotoxin. And that's what we're going to need to use against her to take her down. Done. Alright, we're good to go. So that's everything in here. There is a lot of information which is really important. And, um, and yeah, so anyway. So that's everything here a whole lot of stuff. There's uh, neuro rounds, which are ca which can come in handy. But seeing that we've got an, so much um, landmines, honestly, I don't think we need any of the other stuff. Uh, so I'm going to put this away. Uh, we'll keep that. We've got to keep that. Get rid of that. Machine gun ammo. We've got 300 of that, so we can put that away. Put that away. Put that away. I think... I think we got one more save spot. So, uh further down so we could probably take the magnum with us then uh, so we'll put that over here put that over there I'll take that first before we need to use anything before I get hurt again and that should be everything we need to move on and hopefully finish the game while everyone's watching uh, that's a magnum ammo I'll put that back for now and keep everything nice and neat and we're good to go so uh, we'll save one more time save over this one that should do the trick all right and i think yeah i believe there's one more safe spot after this really later in the game like right towards the ending of the game um i thought there were some boxes here but they must have been on hard yeah, they were interesting all right so take our machine gun out for fun there is nothing over here but i, I remember that there was something over here yep another bomb and another one of them yeah, that'll come in handy, maybe. I think we've got enough room for a lot of stuff anyway, so... Over here is some more magnum ammo through this water... Through this little... Pondy... Lake. And someone's singing. Which is the theme song to Resident Evil, so... Uh, Resident Evil 7. La 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 la... It isn't creepy. Alright. Anyway. That's ended. And now we're going to get through here. There's going to be a... Here she is. Look at her. Evelyn. And now she runs away. Die. She wants us to die. Why? Well... Fuck! Alright, so what I'll do is we'll line these guys up and take them out with headshots.
I'm good to go for a few more, and then I'll take this. I'll take the steroid stab uh, stabilizer off, and, it, and then uh, that way I don't use our health. Yeah. And that's just a uh, um. Uh, we're coming towards the end, but there's going to be a fair amount of monsters around this area. <laughs> We've got enough machine gun bullets, so why not use it, mate? Taking that little spider out is a bit of a pain in the ass, so it's better that we did that. Now, we'll come back in a second. Alright. So... If so much ammo, why not use it, you know what I mean? Uh, a few more, I think, coming down these stairs. <laughs> okay. It's always good to get rid of these guys quick because they're very annoying. Lucky last. Okay. That I think. There's one more coming down the stairs. Alright. I think that's done the trick. They're all dead. So, what we'll do is I'll quickly go back down because I think I just missed something around here. That's important. And I think down there there was something just around the corner. It might have been a herb, but let's quickly pick it up. Uh, put that down. Machine gun ammo. Alright, so we came around that side. That side came around this side. And there was nothing else apart from that. So we can make our way back up again. The music's creepy, but don't worry. I don't believe there's anything else now. Okay, that's where the bomb was. In here, there's a few more things to pick up. What's that? Burner fuel. I'm going to leave that. Don't need it. And what's that? It's the shotgun ammo. That will come in handy. And that's it. So we'll make our way up. I didn't want to take that burner ammo, I don't need it. So use the it is pretty much useless. And... Alright, that's pretty much cleared out everything. And we're done now. We can see that we can just jump down these stairs. And the autosave is on too. And everything is here and everything is done. So now the only thing we're going to need to do now is take out... I think... Well, I think there's only one in this one. I think I'm, I can't remember, I always forget. Uh... And... What I'll do is... Now, yeah, here he is, a fatty. No, he's still he's still Wow. Fatty wants me dead. Better, better just use this, just in case. Fatty is not dead yet. Is he dead? He's dead. Probably he's gonna be dead. Where are they? One's down. Here's the second one. I'll let, him, I'll let him come towards me before we die. Before he dies. Over here. Over here. Come on. Alright. That might do the trick. Yeah. 
Yep. Please. At least we're keeping him at bay. Doesn't want to die. Wow. It's going to make us waste all our ammo. Exploded and he died. Jeez, he took nearly everything we had. In the end, I could have just taken out, put another bloody air mine on the floor. Oh, it doesn't matter, what can you do? Alright. What's that? Strong first aid, perfect. Don't need it. And more machine gun bullets. And. And what's that? Shotgun. Alright, if you're playing on a madhouse. We've also got a shitload of landmines covering this, just in case people want to rush it. Um, so there, are, there is a way of shooting them off if you really wanted to, but just to be safe, always kill those guys. But there's many strategies to taking down the fat guys. You can use the neuro, the neuro um, rounds with a grenade launcher. It makes them, you know, freezes them for a while, and then after that, you can shoot them with whatever you got, like something strong um, from a distance. But anyway, we're all done. We're actually out of the way now. We can make our way down. And what happens is everything goes back. Everything comes Everything comes around full circle. And as you can see, we don't know where we are yet. As you can see right here. But through this little area here, it will take us to somewhere very familiar. And as I said, full circle. It seems like, you know, whatever comes around goes around, I believe. Take the last one of these machine gun bullets. More first aid. Map of the landmine. And um, now we can save. And I believe I don't think I could. Have, I don't. I'm not sure if I could have got to another uh, another one of those. Uh, what do you call them? Um, ace, ace, safe safety box the bo uh, boxes. I'm not sure, but I'm going to save it. Looks like I never. I'm not going to be using my magnum. What a pity. Anyway, I'll take the show you out with me. So, this is something that we're very familiar with. And here we are. Remember this place? Remember that thing on the floor? Yes, we all do. We've started nearly right back at the beginning again. In your wall. And... I'm sure of it. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. That's it. So we are done, boys and girls. We're going to make our way to the end. And we'll do it together. Everything else is here. Everything is here from before. Nothing's changed. So we're going to make our way through and back up to the top. And watch, watch all the creepy stuff that happens. Seeing that I'm here now, I better just use my steroids too. Why not use it? Fill me up to full thick, full strength. Okay, cool. And we're back in the house. Amazing, we are back in the house. Ah. This. Flashbacks. She throws me through the wall. Remember that, boys and girls? Just felt like yesterday. There's Evie again, and that's where Mia is. Have a look at her. Where we left her. Now Evie's watching us from here. Creepy. All right, so that's this it. This is your fault. Yes, yes, it's always Why my am I fault. This? Flashbacks are going to continually happen. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Does it want to be my daddy? Hmm. Then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. Unfortunately, mommy's already dead. But 
um, see that there's one more one more video or one more flashback in this section here, which also scares her. <laughs> yes. You're gonna be one of us, and then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Your help. Yeah. Uh, Leave. Me. But it's not. You're not, not going to get hurt. I didn't mean to shoot her anymore. So all these things can't do nothing about. Door is locked, so you can't do nothing. Going to make a way upstairs. So it's pretty much just flashbacks, continual flashbacks of what's happened. And you know, Evie. Not sure why she doesn't want to kill us, but we're gonna have to be doing. We're gonna be doing that to her. In a minute. Uh, full on creepiness. So we'll make our way to the top. We're gonna have to block a bit because now Evie's right here, and she's gonna get crazy in a minute. you block otherwise she pushes it back continuously. No! Grab them. No, no, no! Give her the injection. And that ends that. So now that we caught her, you pretty much you all along. All along. All along. Been watching this all along. Alright. Yes. Damn sure it hurts. Damn us all to hell. Alright, anyway. So basically, the ne next thing is taking out the mutated form of Eevee. Uh, now, the best thing to do is drop. Drop these bombs here anywhere you want them. I, I, I missed about four or five. And that should do the trick. As you can see, that cuts off a cutscene. On, on Madhouse, it's recommended to do about eight. Plant them exactly how I planted them. Just plant them carefully and close to each one, one another. And what happens is it'll just you know, trigger them all off in one go. Bang. And it will uh, destroy her and it cuts off this cutscene right now. So we're at now, right at the end now. So now we can just keep shooting her. Uh, pretty much doesn't make too much of a difference anyway because because uh, sooner or later you'll get you'll be given an Albert Wesker gun, and then once that happens. Okay, so she grabs us now, and while she grabs us, we're, try we're gonna die, Hope we're not gonna die, but we think we're gonna die, because she wants to kill us. And, um, she keeps on bashing the crap out of us. And, take a couple more shots, she drops us to the floor. From that height, we should be dead, but, you know. So, on the floor right there is a gun called the Albert. And there's a message. It says, use it. And it's from an unknown source. Who is this unknown source? We don't know, but it's coming from somewhere. Maybe the helicopter or something. Playtime's over. Yep. Playtime's over. Move your hands. We've got nine in here. about four shots and that should do the trick pretty much got like some sort of serum in there which does exactly the same thing that happened to Jack and she is done drops to the ground and dissolves and with that that ends the playthrough of Resident Evil 7
We just watch the story un un unfold, which basically is ending B because we took Zoe. So we get an achievement called playing it safe because I was playing it on easy and just the memory as well. So this is the part where everyone also doesn't know who and what and we don't know who this person is. Everyone thinks it's Hunk from Resident Evil. But seeing that this is played four years after the events of Resident Evil 6, maybe and maybe, why wouldn't it not be this person here? I'm Red Fuel. I'm glad we found you. Now, is it is it really Chris? Maybe it isn't. The fuck took you guys so long? But I'm going with no. It's not Chris. I think it. I feel like it might have been with a conversation that we heard in the in the shack, where they were talking. Bravo One and Alpha One were talking. But the problem is, this helicopter on the side has an umbrella logo. So, with this ending, you can see that Mia's talking to us on the phone, which is the message we saw at the beginning of the game. And if we did save her, she would have been actually with us at this point in time. He throws his phone away because he doesn't need it anymore. But if we did finish and save Mia, uh, she would have been in the helicopter with us as well. So there's the helicopter. Now, if they we say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. The, the Umbrella Corporation's logo is right and there. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. Meaning that I don't believe it would be Chris. Because unless if Chris is working I for just Umbrella for four years, losing Mia the first time. hard to say. But now I've lost her again. But this time, unfortunately, Mia the only other door I can see section. is closed. So that's it. So we're done. Thank you for watching everybody. We can go through the credits now and then I'll stop after the credits. So thank you for watching. I might just say something along the way too just to keep you guys occupied. Go tell and Basically this here this is credits of uh, all the directors. Characters that we saw in the demo as well, and the ones we play in the video. In the video. They were talking about it.
everybody's dead apart from Ethan and maybe Chris and Leon and Jake and all the other guys that we've not seen in this game maybe even Claire and Jill don't forget Jill and um Rebecca Chambers too Barry if Barry's still alive I'm not sure maybe he's dead but look everyone thank you for watching a lot of questions that still need to be answered about the the the, the person who picked them up who picked Ethan up from the helicopter and if it really is Chris and so forth but as you said as I said this is just the ending of ending B which is Zoe and you take uh, when you take Zoe Mia dies if you take if you choose Mia Mia doesn't die and Mia comes with you and, and she's on the helicopter which I basically already said so thank you everybody for watching I'm going to skip this movie take us back to the main menu and um, there you go that was our stats which were pretty dismal um, we played it on easy I think I died twice too which is really crap uh, Six hours of gameplay. If you do it in four, less than four, you unlock uh, the chainsaw. It's not a chainsaw. It's a circular saw. Very good. Very handy, especially if you try and uh, play it on Madhouse. Uh, Mr. Everywhere, we found 12 out, of, 12 out of 20, and that's just doing it casually, which is cool. The antique coins, uh, I found 16 out of 18, and we're still able to get everything we needed. Files obtained, 30 out of, 30, uh, 30 out of 32, and that was really playing casually. I wasn't checking everywhere either, which is good. Uh, and item boxes, that's another thing, it's another achievement. If you open up the item boxes less than three times, you get an achievement. Um, same thing as using the healing items. So if you try and use your healing items less than three times, you get an achievement as well. We did it 13, which is not that bad. Stabilizers we used once, steroids we used three times. So if you end up using your steroids at, at, at the right times, you can actually heal th six times in total, and you should be able to make it through even Madhouse. Um... If you wanted to do it that way as well. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to click OK. And this is what happens now. You unlock Difficulty Madhouse. After you've played it on finish. After you've finished it on easy or hard. And you also get the Albert R1 gun. Which is a handgun, but much more powerful. But it can only hold three bullets at a time. And then you've got to reload. All right. So, uh, don't forget there's also going to be some DLC happen later on. Additional free contact called Not A Hero coming 2017. That's a picture of Chris. If it is Chris, if it's not Chris, then we don't know who the hell it is. So, we'll figure it out one day once the DLC comes out. So, thank you for watching. Once again, that is the end of our walkthrough from Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, still give us a thumbs up. Because we really need to understand why people don't like giving us thumbs up. Because thumbs ups are cool. But anyway, thank you for watching. Master Abbott signing out from capturecomputers.com.au. Welcome to the family, son.